Hi, this video we're going to continue look at the trust and uh, if you have done the previous video on trust, a method of um, joints and we have looked at the same problem, right? And uh, we started uh, for this problem, we using the entire FBD and find the reaction support. So here's our reaction support E is 10,000 and uh, CX and CY are calculated as well. Now we're going to introduce a brand new concept today is method of section. As you see from the previous video, method of joints is tedious and has to be accurate and because the answers were brought up to the next few steps. So now let's look at how method of section work. As the name indicates, we no longer look at individual joints for FBD. Instead, we only look at a section at a time. And, uh, but to solve this, the first step is still FBD of entire one. And here, I'm not going to, yeah, let's go do that. Let's, let's just go ahead and to do this really quickly. Entire FBD, uh, I'm just gonna write down right there, FBD number one. Then we have our CX and the CY, right? Then we also have roller support, we have an E, and we are solving those three unknowns and using three equations. First equation we have is our CX, X direction equal to zero. And for forces at Y, we have external force, negative 2,000. And then we have negative 1,000 going downward, both negative. Then we have this E going upward and also this CY going upward equal to zero. Then the last equation, moment, we choose moment of our C because a lot of force is going at C. And uh, for the first 2,000 pound, the moment of arm will be a C length. That's 12 plus 12. And that's going to be counterclockwise, so it's positive. Then for this 1,000, it's times 12, it's counterclockwise as well. Then we'll have this E, the moment of arm will be only six foot, and that is clockwise, so minus that. And uh, from all of this, we should get a same answer as last time. We have our E equals to 10,000 pound. Bring that E to this equation number two, we can find our CY to be 7,000. Uh, actually, negative 7,000 pound. And our CX is equal to zero. That's our external reaction support, first step. Now, we're going to get to the essence of method of section. If we were trying to cut a section at a time, imagine you have a half scissor in your hand, you go ahead and cut. If I go ahead have has my scissor to cut those members, and I cut A, B, B, D, and D, E, right? Then I have created two sections. Because this entire structure has been broken into the left section and also the right section. So first of all, Mess of section works no matter which section you're using, either left or right, you're going to get the same answer, okay? And I, the rule of thumb is you choose a section that has less forces going on there. Obviously, I feel like left side is way sleek, you know, simpler, right? Because if you look at the right side, all the other forces will have external force E and we also have external force at C, then we're going to use the step we just calculated. But if we look at the left side, it's pretty clean. So that's what we're going to do. If we look at a section on the left side, first of all, I'm going to draw. AD is intact, nothing cut. But AB is cut because B is here. Then BD is cut as well, right? So we have just short segment of that. And the DE is being cut because E is somewhere here. Okay, so I'm just taking out that section out. Then for this, we're creating this FBD number two. For this section, what we're going to draw is all the forces. We have external force right here. 
I'm going to choose a different color. So that's going to be our 2,000 pound for set A. Then when you cut B, uh, any member, just like a rule of thumb we had for method of section. So here I can write it down again is whenever a member is cut, this member become unknown, becomes unknown, you're solving. So you look at this section and this member AB is going to become unknown. So we're going to have a direction, uh, have a um, have a force on it. And the direction can be either way. If I guessed, it's going to be in this direction. So that's going to be my AB. Then also we cut BD. And if I guess BD is going to be... Um, going this direction that's my db then for de i'm guessing it's going to be the other direction that's my d okay the reason i put the b and e here even there on the right side it just give me um, a reference where those members are Okay, it's going to help us with the equation, we shall see. So now we're going to write down our equations, forces at x direction. Then we have x direction, we have negative ab. And then db is going to the, has left side um, fraction as well, component. So now let's look at a db. db, since this is symmetric, this is going to be 6 foot and 8. So simplify it's 3, 4, 5 triangle. You can actually go ahead and write down that here. 3, 4, 5 triangle. So knowing that for db, the x component will be 3 fifths of db and pulling to the left, so it's negative. Then de pulling to the right, positive. That's our first equation. By the way, in this FBD number one, you have three unknowns, right? And for solving three unknowns, we need a three equations, and we do. Because for method of section, it allow, allows us to have our moment equation. Again, look at my method of joint video. You know, all the forces going through the same joint, then we don't have that moment equation, we only have forces at x and y. However, for mass of section, we get back our three equations. Then forces at y direction will have negative 2,000 going downward. db have a downward force, right, which is 4 fifths of db, and it's going downward, so it's negative. Uh, that's all the forces at x direction, at the y direction, that equal to zero. That's our equation number two. Then we can go ahead and do moment. Moment is interesting. Where do we do moment about? If we do moment at A, uh, we can, or D, or E, but where is the easiest way? We can think outside the box. We can even think about the point that is might not be on the structure. For example, moment at B. Why do we choose at B? Because AB and DB, they're going, both going through that point B, right? Do you agree? That's why I said it's important to have, give a point of reference on this point. So they, they will not show up in the equation. So for our uh, moment at B, we have 2,000 pound, then times this moment of arm of 2,000, Rotating about B, so it would be that length. In that length, so basically it's AB length is 12 foot. It's counterclockwise, so it's positive. AB and B, DB does not show up because they're going through point B. So the last thing is our DE. And uh, to solve DE, what's the moment of arm? 
that's going to be this particular length. So from B to E, you know, this vertical length, that happens to be 8. And that's to make it also counterclockwise, so it's class, that equal to 0. Pause for a second, thinking about it. If the problem just asks us, can you find the force in member DE in one step? In one step. Yeah, the answer is yes. Equation number three. If you use method of section, first of all, method of section, and you make this particular cut, and you can just use moment about B, you can find the DE just in one step, right? So be uh, clever about it when the problem presented in a way you don't need to go use a mess of joints or you can just think about can I just use a mess of section using moment equation I can find this in, in less number of the steps as possible. Now let's go ahead and solve this. So DE in equation number three we should uh, be able to solve it, and it's going to be equal to negative 3,000 pound. Bring DE to the equation number 1, or actually we can solve equation number 2, right? So we can solve our DB. Our DB here is going to be 2,500, and will be negative value there, right? Then we can bring DB and DE both back to equation number one. Then we can find our AB. And our AB is going to be solved as negative 1500. Let me just double check if it's right. Um, because this is 2500. So that cancel out. That's 1500. Negative 1500. Uh, that's going to be plus DE is negative 3,000. Yes, so AB is negative 1,500. All right, so do your math and you get the answer right there. Again, we're going to use the same trick we talking about last time about how to determine the tension and compression. Here I write it down again. Basically, if the arrow is 0.2, the member or joint here is actually a member now that means it's pointing to that's going to be compression if it's point away that's going to be tension so now let's take a look at it RDE is labeled here but it's getting negative value so the true direction we know it's going to be basically that direction right that's the true direction so I'm using the grain for my true direction. And the DB will be also, since we get negative, so the true direction is that. And AB, same wise. So look at the grain color. And our AB is pulling away, isn't that? Pulling away, so that's going to be tension. Now let's look at DB. DB is, oops, sorry. Uh, DB is also, look at the grain color is pulling away so that's going to be in tension as well d however is pushing into it so that's compression right so you can compare this to the uh, steps you took for the method of joints in the previous video you can look at the actually the same answer all right then method of section obviously is going to be more advantages than joints because first of all you have three equations you have moment equation you can solve three unknowns at a time right um, and you know you are not obligated to obligated to rely on the previous answers in order to solve that much uh, now let's look at the next step um, What I'm going to do is to make this a little bit cleaner, I'm going to copy this. We made our first cut and we have three. And how about we go ahead and make some other cut? You know, if we were trying to maybe potentially cut another one, like uh, for example, if we cut this way. 
If we cut this way, we cut three members as well, and we have our right section or left section. You can use either one. Uh, personally, I will go ahead and use left section, again, because it has less going on. Um, you can also use right section here because it's actually not too much complicated compared to this two because C and E have reaction you already solved in the first step, FPD number one. Um, so here you have observed something. You can actually solve this problem without the first step. Why? Because if I make my mess of section, if I keep on using my left section, I never need to worry about my reaction support. If I were using the right section, yes, I need to use it. Uh, so here, let's go ahead for this particular cut, FBD number two or number three here. We are going to use the right section. So just to demonstrate what we mean. FBD number three. So for FBD three, we're going to look at the, the right section. What we have here, it's going to be this um, C here and E here. And we will have part of the CB and B is somewhere there. And we'll have part of the BE somewhere there. That's going to be our FB, our subject for FBD number three. And let's go ahead and draw our Forces down there. I have trouble changing the color. Maybe see something first. All right, so now let's take a look. C is external reaction you find out in the first step. And if you find out the first step, we said the Cx is equal to zero and the Cy is negative 7,000 corresponding to this FBDU draw which you're pulling upward. So the true direction is going downward to 7,000, right? So I'm going to have that correctly labeled. It's going downward, and that's 7,000. That's our CY. And that's very critical to be able to translate the right magnitude and end direction onto the next FBD. Then our E at the roller support is 10,000. It's going up right here so it's going to going upward 10,000 pound then since we cut BC we're going to create an unknown and here you can guess right if I'm guessing it's pulling away that's gonna be our BC we're solving and for BE if we're guessing it's gonna be pushing into it so that's going to be BE we are solving. That's going to be our FBD. Let's go ahead and put our equations there. Forces at the X direction, what do we have? X direction, we have negative BC since it's going left. And also BE is going to have X component. BE here, we can label the, this is three, four, fifths. So BE, that would be three-fifths of BE, and that's pulling to the right, positive. All right, then we'll have equal to zero. Forces at Y, we'll have CY being going downward, so negative 7,000. E here is going upward, 10,000. Then BE itself also have Y component, which is four-fifths of ten, uh, four fifths of BE we are solving. And that's going downward, so it would be negative. Then that all together equal to zero. So from equation number two, we can go ahead and find our BE. Our BE will be equal to this together, 3,000. Flip that, this will be our answer for RBE. So 15,000 divided by four, so we have 3,750.
pound. That's our answer for BE. Then bring that BE back to equation number one. Then we can find our BC. So 3750 times 3 divided by 5. So BC will be equal to 2250 pound. Now we need to figure out compression or tension, right? So we get both positive number, which means we guess the right. So BC indeed is away from the member, pulling away from the member. So that's the intention. And the BE here is pushing into it. So that's the compression. So again, I encourage you to go ahead and compare the answer we have there. See if you have the same answer. And uh, one thing I noticed here, our BC doesn't seem to be right. Well, I realized my BC is not right. And then I went back to see what's the trouble I made is actually was uh, FBD number three is a copyright. I did draw CE. I did draw part of BC being cut off. I did draw part of BE being cut off, but I forgot my DE, right? So I'm so sorry. I'm going to go back. You can see the mistake I made. I'm not going to re, re, uh, remake this one. Okay. So that's going to be our, then corresponding to that, that's my D there. So that's where you cut also. But at this point, I'm actually not, I already know my DE, do I? So actually I can go back here to use the DU calculator here, which is 3000 and it's in compression. If it's in compression, what I really know is for this stub here, it's going to be pushing in there and that value is 3000 pound because that's DE you found out the previous step. Here it's very important to make sure you got that arrow direct I'm sorry you get that arrow direction right I'm gonna highlight this because that's important because it's a compression that's what we know it's going into the member so knowing that I'm gonna make my corrections and uh, since this BE was uh, forgotten does not affect my FY right that's why my BE is calculated right but my FX direction you not only have BC going left, not only have the fraction of the BE going to the right, and also we have this DE, so it's going to be plus 3,000 right there. So knowing that, we can plug it in, then this answer will become negative 5, will become 5, 2, not negative, will be plus become 5250. Okay. And since we calculate as positive number again, and so the true direction is indeed pulling away, so that's the intention. Okay. So, so far, what we have calculated, we got this taken care of. I got this, this, and from this cut, new cut, we got those two, right? And here, uh, I'm actually going to demonstrate one concept here. We're going to call this FBD number 3A, or I'm going to call this FBD number 3B. It's optional. You can either or. Remember, I said you can use the left section or right section. Here, if I were not looking at the right section, I'm going to look at my left section right here, right? I should get the same answer as what we have over here. So let's go for it. If I look at the left section, AB is in, is uh, intact, not being cut, right? Because I made a cut here. So same thing AD. AD is intact. BD is not being cut. We have the entire length. However, what's being cut? BC is being cut. C is right here. And this BE is being cut. E is somewhere here and a DE is also being cut it's somewhere there so that's the section we're looking at then let's go ahead use different color to draw all the forces acting on it 
we have this 2,000 pound. We also have this 1,000 pound. Then we cut three unknowns, three members. So we'll have three unknowns here. What were they B? We'll have BC. Here I'm guessing again. If I'm guessing BC is pushing A, so this is my BC. And I'm guessing BE is pushing A. And DE is pulling away. So we create those three unknowns. Let's go ahead and write our equations. Fx direction. Fx direction, what do we have? We have a negative BC pulling to the left. And BE have x direction. And we already know it's all 3, 4, 5 relationship there. So x will be 3 fifths of BE and it's pulling to the left, so it's negative. For DE, it's to the right plus D that equal to zero. Forces at Y, we will have 